All righty. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to my Pilates online tonight with me. My name is Sabrina. We'll be doing a Pilates beginner routine workout. Just because it's a beginner routine doesn't mean you have to be a beginner to do a workout like this evening. It's for anybody and everybody. It's just a different style, pace, and obviously different combo of exercises. Feel free to adjust it accordingly, whether you know how to make it a little bit more challenging or if you need to just stick with a, a slightly more easier or comfortable position and movement, okay? So for today's class, we're gonna use two cans as our dumbbells, or if you've got dumbbells, you can use them, totally up to you. If you feel this is a bit light for certain exercises, if you wanna go heavier, you can use one liter bottles of water, whatever, it's up to you, know your body. But just be mindful if you've got any shoulder, knees, or issues as we go through the movements, okay? So grabbing your cans, standing up nice and tall. We're gonna start with some shoulder rolls. Breathe in and exhale down. Just rolling those shoulders. Soften the knees. Tuck in the pelvic floor. And lengthen your tailbone down to your back of your heels. Three more. Deep breaths. And then nod your chin and start a roll down. One vertebra at a time. Release head, neck, shoulders. Just drop and hang into it. Let that spine be upside down. Let your ribs hang on your thighs. Take a deep breath in and then scoop in the belly and restack the spine. Nice and tall, shoulders, big circles, five, four, squeeze, circle, lift, take it back, open that chest, one more, and then roll down, nod the chin, soften, exhale. Good, gently drop and hang, unpack your spine, just let the tension, Unravel itself, breathing. Scoop in that belly and restack the spine. Lengthen that tailbone down to the heels and lift up nice and tall again. Circle shoulders. Get some blood flow in the upper trap section through the shoulder joints. One more. Nod the chin, exhale, roll down. Think of leaving the hips behind as the spine falls down. You don't want to bend and stretch the knees. They stay semi bent in one place. Breathing in, exhale, scoop in that belly. Tilt that tailbone, restack the spine nice and tall. Again, we're just going to do those shoulder rolls. Good. Loosen those knees. You can do it a bit faster with me, or you can do it slower, up to you. But they're nice, big, full circles. We're keeping that neck joint stable. Good. Keep going. That's it. Five, four, three, two. Now I'm going to break into the arm circles. So the arm circle and the shoulder circle, the arms and the shoulders. And if you need to make these circles a bit smaller, you can you get that nice stretch. Control the circle. You don't want to just throw those arms and pop those shoulders. Breathe in. You shouldn't even start fatigue and become tiring. Keep that movement. So you know you're creating nice blood flow, waking up all those still tight muscle fibers. We do four more. Two more. And one more. Good. Open up the foot position a little bit wide. We're going to shoulder roll and then knee bend. And then other side. So just slightly leaning into it. Lifting that shoulder up and away from the opposite foot. 
roll it back and down. Good. Keep breathing here. Good. Need a little bit of expansion and movement through the rib cage, through the mid back as well. Good. We got ten more to go. Keep tucking in the belly, standing nice and tall. Four more. Two. And one. Good. We're going to do little punches. Okay? Just a little knee bend as we pulse and beat those arms. Just like that, okay? Don't lift those arms higher than your shoulders. I want you to relax your upper traps. Keep space between your ears and shoulders. Keep the length in your spine. Try not to stick your bum out here. You want to keep your core connection. And those elbows are up. You can slow it down if you need to, or you can keep your pace with me. And you want to see that you're not rotating your ribs here. That as you move your arms, you're keeping steady so you're not doing this rotation. That's it. Keep breathing. Keep your pace. You got 10 more. Five more. We're going to go into a little knee lift. A little step. Okay? So, it goes knee lift as we swing the arms to the side. Just like that. You can do it slower, you can do it faster, but don't pick up the shoulders. Stretch out the back of your neck, as well as the front, and lift those knees. Good. There you go. You're standing tall. Getting that heart rate up a bit. That's it. Do it with a bit of meaning, with a little bit of oomph. <laughs> Good. Ten. Nine. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Just shoulder rolls. That's it. Nice big circles. Roll them back. So how good it feels to have circulation in the body and a bit of a temperature rise as blood starts flowing to all these working parts of your body. Good. Big circles. Don't let them become baby circles. Five more. Two. One. Good. Okay, we're going to take it into a little bit of lower body as well now. So starting with a wide squat, just a bit wider than hip width. We're going to do a forward raise. Don't swing the body to forward raise. Keep the body still as the arms lift the weight. Okay. And don't hang the wrists, leaving those weights behind. Lift them up. And then stretch the inner thighs. Your knees are tracking in line with your second toe. Okay. You squeeze your bum when you stand. And you open those knees nice and wide. So it's a bit of a hip opener. And then look at your posture. Keep your spine up nice and tall. Again, avoiding any extra upper trap tension. So don't go into that. Okay? You've got to open up that space and lift the arms. Keep that head tall. But if you need to slow it down, slow it down. Your pace is your own. Good. A few more. Five, four, three, two. Hold it down. Five bounces. Three, two, one, and lift it up. Okay. Next one, you're going to sit, hinge the hips back, sitting on that imaginary chair. The spine is slightly going to drop forward, but it's a hinge, so you're not rounding your back. It's a flat back. Stick your bum out slightly, but tuck in the belly. Okay? You're going to lift your arms up into a forward raise, and then bend your elbows, lift them up nice and high. Arms forward, and elbows lift. 
And keep tucking in your belly as you stick your bum out. And in this position, you don't have to lift up the elbow so high or the can so high. You don't want the swing of momentum to be cheating it. Okay, you want to control the lift and you want to control the bend of the elbows. Try and keep your neck long, no wrinkles. Your knees are still on top of your heels. They're not diving forward. And this is just working through a bit of shoulders as well. Good. That's it. Few more. Feel the work that's coming through the back as well. Tuck in your belly. Lower back support. Three more. Two. Last one. Stay there and lift yourself up. Good. Leap position. Small feet. Heels together. Squeeze. Try to lift those heels up off the floor. Balance. Find your inner thigh connection now. Holding your heel squeeze. Open up your toes and imprint them all. Get a connection of all muscles, all ligaments working through from toes to ankles to knees to hips. Good. Back. We bend and stretch. Little bicep curl here. Nothing major. Okay, don't worry about dropping too low. Worry about more balance and control. Worry about keeping your heels glued together. Zipping up, squeeze and stretch. Okay, can you keep your spine up? You don't want to fall forward. You got to keep up tall. That's it. Keep going. I like this song that's playing. Squeeze. We got five more. Heels together, and it's not too wide with the knees because it's a small B foot position. Two. Now hold your last one. Bend it there and just the biceps. Don't sway forward, don't sway back. Seven. Four. Three. Two. And one, stretch the legs, drop the heels, shake it out. Good. Okay, we're gonna do a little curtsy. Step, beat, step, beat. If you can take it a bit further, you're gonna reach touch can to knee. If you can take it a bit further, can to ankle, step cross. Now you can do this slower, you don't have to go to my pace. Slow down if you need. But lean back into it rather than your knee diving forward. Control your movement. No point in moving if it's mindless. Good. And this is going to get a little bit of glutes working as you sit back and bend. Okay, maybe you're not going that low, you're just going to the knee. That's fine. Or just a little step and beat. Okay, listen to your body, do what works for you. We'll do a few more. There's six more to go. Good. And have every done. Last one in this series is going to be a lunge reach. So what we're doing is twisting to one side, creating a long line from the hand to the heel. But you want to try and drop your heel down. This heel is going to lift up. Try to flatten it so you get the stretch as you reach. Bring it in and change to the other side. But try and drop that heel. So twist, reach. Reach, dropping your heel down. So leave your heel behind and reach side to side. You can do it with a side of a stick. Think of a long line, space between your ribs and your hips. Drop that heel down and you stretch out the back of the leg as you step. Good. 
Keep on going. That's it. If you want to speed it up, you can. If you need to slow it down, you can. But don't lift the shoulders up into the ears. Think of lengthening your body. We go for six four. Good, and have a breather. Well done. And a little sippy of water. We're going to do two roll downs. Standing up nice and tall. Roll your shoulders back. Lift your arms, breathing in. Stretch. Circle those arms. Nod your chin. Tuck your ribs. Release head, neck, shoulders, and stretch out the back of that spine as you roll down. Drop and let go, hang into it, take a deep breath in. Scoop in deeply through pelvic floor and still think of lengthening that spine. So we'll go tilt down, three stacking nice and tall. One more, shoulders roll back. Lift your arms, breathing in, reach, lift that chest tall, wide. Arms drop down, you nod your chin, tuck and so slowly and gently roll it down. Opening up the back, stretch, drop it down there, take a deep breath in. Exhale, roll up. Excellent, well done. Okay, let's take it down to the mat. So if you want to use your cushion, especially if your neck strains a lot in your abdominals, or your abdominals maybe are not quite as strong yet, you need a little bit extra support, then use a cushion, okay? It does make a difference. Otherwise, don't worry about it. We stick to things as normal. I want you to take your hands and then lay on your spine. So I'm gonna give you a few options. One option, you can hold the can behind your head. This is gonna be easier on the neck, supporting you. Otherwise, you can hold one can to the forehead where your thumb knuckles are just touching the center of your brows, okay? Otherwise, you can double the load and hold both your weights, okay? With it, um, fist to fist, just like that. Palms facing forward, the back of your hands on your forehead. Elbows slightly in, okay? Rather than wide, you're gonna tuck them in and feel that space between your shoulder blades. Your knees and feet are fist distance apart. Take a nice deep breath in. Draw your shoulder blades down your spine so you can really feel you're engaging in your mid and lower tracks. And then exhale, lift your head and chest up as one unit, nice and high. And then drop it down, just until the shoulder blades are off the mat. And back down. Can we put your hands together here? You can. Okay? As long as your abdominals are taking the load here, and you're exhaling on the lift, Imagining a peach under your chin, and it's a soft peach. So you don't want to squash it by dropping your chin down. You've got to stabilize your neck and use your abdominals to chest up. Okay, please support your weight of your head if your neck strains more here than your abdominals. You go for five more, otherwise, stick with your own pace. Good, stay with me. We've got one more. Lift it up, stay there five second hold. And release it down, have a breather. Well done. Dumbbells at your sides, weights, cans at your sides. Keep your hands on the cans, stretch your fingertips, keep your pelvis steady and stable. You're going to lift one leg up in tabletop. And as you lower it down, to tap it in the measuring cup of water, the other leg's going to lift up. Your movement is through your hip joint bone, not your knee. So stabilize your knee joint, keeping the angle that the back of the knee is same at all times. Yes, and then keep your pelvis nice and steady as you switch and change. These are leg changes, okay? You can do one leg if it's a bit heavy on the lower spine. Good. Keep that core stability. Your hips are steady. Steady as rocks. Good. Press your hands into your hands with a little bit of feedback and feel the core engagement. Stretch out the back of your neck. 
There's no kinks in the spine. Do five more. Three, two, and one. Rest those feet down. Picking your hands up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift your chest up as you reach the hands for the heels and then lower it back down. If the neck takes over, then rather put your hands behind your head and do the first chest lift you did before this. Exhale as you lift your chest up and inhale, lower it down. Five more. Hinge at your ribcage, lift your chest. Last two. Hold your last one up. Face the cones, the can down. Place your hands on the can, keeping your chest up. Reach past your hands. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly down. Excellent. Hope you felt that burn. Okay. Let's take one can now. And then to place it behind the, the neck. If you've got a cushion, move it for this. And just for a second, think of the fascia balls. And you can actually massage the neck out a bit with this can. It feels quite good. You just tilt so that your spine is not, the neck spine is not pressing on the can. But that actually the side but the muscles along the spine on the side that touch up into the base of the skull. Woo! You can just press and slightly tilt the head on there and actually give it a little roll. It feels amazing. Quite sore, but the good kind of sore. Then gently shift it over to the other side and then do it on that side. Woo! My goodness. Just gently, just off the spine. Slightly tilt your head and then just softly feel where you may need to just. just Press a little bit of pressure on. Just hold it there a second. Woo! Feel how hugely connected it is to your shoulders. Notice how your shoulders make tense when you press onto the neck here. Try and relax your shoulders. Just a few more seconds. Three, two, and one. Oh, that is golden. That's a secret trick. We must remember that. We don't have fashion balls. That works very nicely. Well, in the neck, obviously, and possibly on the legs, but I wouldn't say I'm on the spine. <laughs> okay, so holding the can behind your neck, imagine you're holding a small ball, elbows in peripheral view. Again, join your shoulder blades down the spine. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift your chest up here, and then let's rotate. So you want to think of taking the left rib cage up and over to the right hip and then center and cross right rib cage up and over to left hip and then switch and change as you just tilt side to side but you're not lifting your hips up and you're not moving your knees as you rotate your upper body side to side keep those shoulder blades off your mat twist isolated just that upper body four Center it and place it down. Well done. Okay, you can put your cushion back if you want. Take your can, place it in between your knees. Now you've got to keep a bit of tension to hold the can in between your knees. Don't squeeze so tight that you're jamming the metal into your knees. Just hold on and don't drop it, okay? It's not too heavy. Nice core connection. Extend one leg, bend and place it down. Now, what if you try to get your leg all the way straight up? Slowly, because you shouldn't really have the can moving in between your knees. I'll slightly turn at this angle and then you can see you maintain holding the squeeze of the can as your leg comes up, okay? Keep going. And just find that connection of the thigh. Remember that quad is connecting past the knee down onto the shin. You might need to adjust it slightly. And let's go, six more. 
Is one leg stretching straighter and longer than the other? Make it the same. You do one more each leg. Good. Now, toes on the mat, heels up. Holding the cab between your knees. Keep your core stable. Spine to the mat. Hips steady. Extend and lift both legs up and tap. Okay? I want you to keep your spine imprinted. You're not arching your lower back up off the mat. And if this is too heavy, just go back to single leg lift. Okay? Just a few more. Toes, lift the mat, extend the knee. So really go for it through the knees there. Five more. Three. Two. Last one. And bend. Good, good, good. Take the can now, place it between the ankles. Okay. Well, let's go a bit above the ankles because it's a bit sore on the skin if you don't have any material. So like that, okay. Just above the heels. Keeping the legs connected together as if it was a small ball. You don't need to tie these little circles. So like the tummy, your hands can support your legs if you need to. If you don't need support, don't use it. You can fully stretch your legs, do so. Flex your feet as well, and then circle. Again, your spine is still imprinted on the mat, okay? Make sure you're laying in a straight line. Equally pressing as you imprint the circle into the mat of your lower spine. Five more, we change direction. Keep it mini, keep it small, think more of your control, your stability and stretching through your legs. Good, now reverse it. Good, don't just throw your legs into it, control it. Notice how you need a little bit more oblique control through the opposite side as you change your direction. Flex your feet. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bend those knees, grab your can, and release it down a little bit. Arms in a T position. Open your feet as wide as your mat. Let your knees drop and hang to one side. Reach those knees to the floor, stretch down. Look to the opposite direction of your knees. Really try to get those knees to touch the floor and then gently pick them up, drop them over to the other side and look away from the knees. Can the knees touch the floor? Get really close. And then lift it up back to the center. Okay, again, grabbing one can, we're gonna do single leg stretch. Single leg stretch, two options with more abdominals or not, depending on your neck, shoulders, and your body, okay? So, bring the bent knees up. We're gonna stretch one leg and the other is bent. We're gonna pass the can under the bent knee. Easier to stretch the legs high up to the ceiling. More challenging to drop lower that 45 degree line. We want the leg a 45 degree line, but only if you can stretch and stretch that leg fully and keep the base of your spine imprinted to your mat. Good. Now step two, pick the chest up. Shoulder blades off that mat as you continue passing with control. If you need to lift up and maybe drop down for a couple and then lift back up again, that's also fine, do what you can. Go for five. Four, stick to your own pace. Three, two, and one. Bring those knees in. Have a breather. Gently rocking your spine side to side. Good. Place one leg down onto the mat. Place the can at the back of the knee of the other leg. And we're going to roll the can up the leg to the heel and back down. Okay? Wherever you can roll it to is up to you, but you want to hold to that can and get that stretch through the back of the leg. Okay? So glide it up the leg and back down. If you can flex that foot, 
Too soft. Good. A little bit more stretch if you need. Just try and straighten the other leg as you pull into split stretch. Okay. Slide that can up the leg into a stretch. Pull and release. If you need to bend the other leg, that's fine. Okay, do what works for you. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Hold your stretch and release it. Bend both knees in and let's change. Lift that leg up. Place your can behind your knee. Extend your leg. Slide that can up and back down. Again, up, stretch, and back down. Lengthen it and release. If you can, the other leg, stretch it off. Lift it. Long lines through the body. Stretch with your leg in line with its hip. You don't want to let your leg open too wide and collapse in the middle of your body. Three more. Last one. Hold your stretch. Three, two, one, and release it. Okay, we're going to do some roll ups. So grab both your cans. And if it's a bit much for you to roll down, you can um, to roll up. If you need a bit of assistance, use the roll ball gown or a resistance band or heavier weights. If it's still too much, then you can just practice more chest lifts for abdominal strength while the rest of us roll up, okay? Legs together, point your toes, draw your shoulders down your spine. You can lift your head and chest up, pause, exhale, roll up. You can lower your weight here. Yeah, don't lift your weight too high into the shoulders. Stretch forward, roll your weight forward, tuck in your belly, pick the weight up without dropping, without lifting your shoulders, slowly lowering back down. Okay, breathe in, head, chest up, arms parallel. Exhale, roll up, dropping your weight, roll it forward, stretch. Tucking in your belly, roll back, pick your weight up, pelvic floor engages as you roll back down gently. And again, head and chest, arms parallel to mat. Exhale, shoulders want to roll up and over the ribcage. Stretch forward, think of leaving your hips behind as your spine lengthens forward. And gently roll back, tuck slowly. Good, keep going. Just think of the fluidity you want to create in this movement through the spine. And that you need a bit of strength to get to have that fluidity. You don't want to just land for the thud. Head, chest up, peel it up, squeeze. Okay, do it to your own pace. And then do two more. Head, chest up, squeeze, exhale, roll up. Stretch forward gently. Tuck in and roll. Slowly tilt and lower it down. One more. Head, chest up. Exhale, rolling up. Stretching forward now. Stay forward, stretch. Flex your feet if you can. So toes up. And still forward folding, just try and get that nose closer and closer to the shins. And then roll up slowly, and we're gonna roll back down onto our spine. Good. Okay. We're gonna do some pelvic curls now. So I want you to remove any cushion or headrest if you have. Flatten all gaps through the spine. Hands are gonna be here with the weight at the hips. Breathe in, tilt and tuck the pelvis and lift the pubic bone, roll the hips up. Stretch your arms, 
As you reach for your knees, squeeze your bum, lift your pubic bone. Inhale, pause. Exhale, little pulses up, little beats, lifting pubic bone higher, squeezing the bum. Four, five, four, three. Reach through your fingers. Two, one. Inhale, pause. Exhale, roll down. One vertebra at a time until tailbone and ankles in neutral. Breathe in. Tilt and tuck, hollow out the belly as you lengthen your tailbone. Roll up one vertebra at a time. Stretch your arms. Lift that pubic bone and little beads, squeeze and lift it higher. Keep stretching the front of the hips. It's tiny, but super squeeze the bum cheeks here. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, pause, exhale, roll down from the top with control. All the way until that low back tailbone touches down. Two more, breathe in. Tilt and tuck, hollow out that belly. Exhale, roll up, reach those arms. Squeeze, make sure you're not collapsing your knees apart here. Inner thighs are active. We pulse and squeeze up. Little minis, tucking below your navel. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, breath takes you down. Good, last one, you ready? Breathe in. Tilt and tuck, tuck in your tummy, lift that pubic bone. Roll it up. Squeeze it nice and high. Check your mind with those hips that they equally heighted. Little pulses up. Reach, stretch through your elbows. Pubic bone is higher than your two hip bones, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, inhale, pause it there, just hold it there. Pick your arms up. Squeeze your bum, lift your pubic bone even more. Tiny circles of your arms. Loosen the elbow joint here. More muscles working in the arms. Try not to sway your body, change direction. Five, four, three, two, one, arms down, inhale, exhale, breath rolls the spine down. Good. Hands at your side, ankle to knee, pull into that, uh, the back of your bent leg, and just pull into that huge stretch. Hold it there. Breathe and still flatten out all the gaps through the spine. Five, four, three, two, one, change legs. Lift up and pull. I'm loving these chickpea cans. <laughs> Quite fun. Good. And release it down. Nice. Okay. Grabbing those cans again. Breathing in. Oh, this is what I want to do. I want you to take your cans. And I just want you to put the feet on the cans. The arches of the feet. You can put your cans together. Bring your feet close to your bum. And you've got to imagine you're standing on two big stones that are steady, okay? You're just going to do a little tilt of the pelvis and pick the tailbone up, okay? If you can keep nice and stable with your feet on your pads and roll a little bit higher up through the hips and then down, please do so. So let's go. Steady cans. Exhale, tilt, hips up, and roll hips down gently. Again, tilt and tight, hips up and roll down. So your height is your own here. You only lift your hips as high as the pubic bone is still higher than the hip bones. So it's not like this, where you're hanging the bum down. You've got to have that scoop so I can lift the pubic bone and roll back down. Otherwise your lower back starts feeling it. And the purpose of the pelvic floor is to walk straight but rounded out of the lower back, not to get into that lower back. Okay. 
Zero with a five. Kansas two, four. Also strengthening those hamstrings, so important. Two more. Last one, tilt, lift, hold it there, not too high, but that pubic bone is lifted. Five, four, three, two, and roll it down. Good. Just roll your feet out on those cans. Little roll. Good. And then swing yourself up. Have a little sip of water. Okay. So we're going to do roll like a ball, just a few. Make sure your mat is thick enough. And if this is not for your spine, you do a couple of pelvic curls, okay? I want you to hold your hold your, your feet and your hands to your can. Okay, so stay nice and compact, or a little bit easier, and in front of the cat, in front of shins, a little bit more challenging behind. Maintain a nice, small, compact ball as you inhale, round back, exhale up, without stretching out. Tuck in, up, and balance. Okay, you're not rolling onto the neck, you just go to the upper back, back, and balance. Right? One vertebra at a time, no thuds. Control this. You want to leave with that scoop and tilt of the lower spine. Five more. Inhale, exhale, balance. Three, without lifting your shoulders, you're holding in the corner, in the pelvic floor, below your navel. One more. Balance. Yes. Have a party with your feet in the air. Woo! Well done. Okay. Good. Next series is going to be a few of this um, exercise in a seated position. So some of you may need to prop yourself up on a little extra cushion or a little block, depending on your hamstring and back mobility and flexibility. Otherwise, you just got to bend the knees like that to modify it for yourself. If you can keep your spine up nice and tall and stretch your legs, then do so. But I don't want you to stretch your legs and then hunch your spine. Rather, you lift your spine and bend your knees. Find your stretch from there, okay? So with this, if the weight's too heavy, do it without. Breathing in nice and tall. You're going to peel your spine one vertebra at a time off of that imaginary wall. You're going to reach forward, and this is where you can drop that weight if it's a bit heavy on the shoulders and the neck. And then tuck in the belly and roll the spine back up one vertebra at a time, nice and tall. Again, you know the chip. Exhale, peel that spine off. You're flexing your feet. Lift your toes. Stretch, breathe in, tuck in that belly, and restack the spine. Lift your crown taller this time. One vertebra at a time. Peel your spine up wall. Stretch forward while you flex your feet, tucking in your belly. Exhale, roll up. Relax those shoulders. Two more. Mud and peel it forward and down. Stretch. Your thighs are active while you flex your feet. Restack and let's do one more. Inhale. Nod your chin, exhale. Stretch forward, breathe in, and tuck and roll it back up. Good. From here, place one can on the outside, one can on the inside. We roll to the heel, and we roll back up. We roll, stretch, reach, and back up. Keeping your hips equally weighted. Both bum cheeks stay down. Both feet stay flexed up to the ceiling. Forward stretch. Notice where you reach to each time here. You try to reach further and further. Three more. And you work in the back as you lift up tall. One more. And bring it up over to the other side. One in the center, one on the outside. And lift up tall. Forward stretch. Exhale, 
forward stretch. Inhale, lift up, repeat. Try really let those shoulders go here. Two more. Let's do three more, sorry. Still flexing the feet. Last one. And lift up nice and tall. Well done. Good. Excellent. Let's go on to our tummies. Okay. Love the feedback with the cans of this prone work. See how you feel. So I want your arms wider than your mat. So the cans are just off of your mat. And if you've got any shoulder issues, then the wider you are apart, the more comfortable it will feel. Okay. Hands as wide as um, legs and feet as wide as your mat. Your central heels drop in, relax, and then tuck in your pelvic floor as you tilt your pubic bone into the mat. So you create length in your lower spine. You don't want to feel any lower back tension here. You've got to be really strict with your technique with this position's work to not affect any lower back knees. Okay. You want to strengthen the mid and the upper back as you extend the upper back here. Not lifting the chin and neck, lifting through the spine and chest, okay? So hands are on, fingertips are off, so the heels of your hands are on, and if it's too far away, you bring them back a little bit, so your arms are plugged in their sockets. Inhale, lift up your head and chest slightly, just a little bit. Stretch the back of your leg, so really just hovering here. You can feel the mid and upper back engagement. You want to think of relaxing your arms a little bit, even though your hands are pressing into the cans, because you don't want the arms to be lifting your chest here. You want the back muscles to be lifting your chest here. Good. Stay there. Good. Now you're going to press your left hand into the can and pick your right hand up. Keep your feet equally weighted and your hips weighted. Just hover that right hand up. Four, three, two. One, drop your right hand, lift your left hand up and hold it. How high can you lift it off of the can? Three, two, one, place it down. Right hand up, five, four. Tuck in your belly, two, one, place it down. Left hand up, hip bones equally weighted on the mat. Three, two, one, still hovering, one more each side, five. Four, three, two, one. Head down, other side, lift it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down and relax head and chest. Well done. Bringing the cans a bit lower down and dropping your elbows down onto the mat. So your elbows are about in line with your shoulders, just below the shoulder line, okay? I want you to rest your head down. Doesn't matter which way you're looking, as long as you alternate so that you're not always twisting your neck to the same direction. Okay, now lift your elbows up and down. Just the elbows. Keep your hands pressing flat down on those cans as you pick the elbows up. Five, four, three, two, Elbows up on one, stay there. Okay? Center it, nose to the hover above your mat. Rip your weights, try to pick them up and tap them back down. Lift and drop. Lift the hand and forearm, not just the elbow. I want you to pick your hand and forearm up now. Stretch the back of your leg, no wrinkles. Five, four, three, two. Keep the cans up on one. Drop the elbows down, but keep the cans up. Hold the cans up. Keep them up. Hover your nose above the mat and release them down. Good. T position. Can under the hands. Pick the cans up and tiny little pulses. 
No to top ring above the mat. Stretch the back of your neck. Try to bring the wing bones down, tuck them under the arms. A few more. Good, now place the cans down and lift up slightly and drop down. There'll be a little bit of a can roll. Inhale and exhale. Five. Gently, light hands on the cat. Three. Two. Long line at the back of the neck. One more. Down. Arms in a wide V position. Overhead V. Inhale, roll up. Fingertips to the cat. Or more knuckles. Okay, you go high up as you feel that is pain in your spine. As long as the lower back's not feeling it. Shoulders down away from the ears. Inhale on the lift. And exhale down. Good. If those shoulders can manage the hands coming with closer, back to the corners of the mat. Inhale, lift up. Breathe in. Extend the upper back. Imagine that marble rolling down the spine. Think of upper back length and extension, but also upper back strength and control. Five more. Three, two, last one, come as high as you can, where it feels okay in your body and hold it there. Squeeze it up if you need to, and slowly down. Very good. Place those hands back in the front corners, heels of the hands back on, tuck in that belly, tuck in that, tuck until that pubic bone into the mat. Squeeze one long leg up at a time. Roll that long leg, squeeze that bum cheek. Look down at your mat, and now you're going to start lifting the opposite arm up with the opposite leg. You've got to think of that arm reaching away from the opposite leg. Reaching, 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 and the toes reaching away from you. Inhale, lift, exhale, drop. Try not to tilt side to side. Your torso, your center, has got to be your steady center. Five more. Really tucking that knee and don't look too high and hurt the lower back, okay? Two more. Last one. And relax. Good. Take one can behind the body. Rest the head down. Stretch your elbows. Okay, little pulses up, stretching here. Try to really extend those elbows and pulse and lift. Opening those collarbones as wide as you can. Lift those arms even higher. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop the arms down, nose hovers above the mat. Inhale, lift the chest. Sliding the can down your spine, down past your bottom, exhale, drop. Inhale, I really want you to roll your shoulders back. Tuck in your belly, don't let the pelvic floor go because you'll feel the lower back difference there. You don't want to feel any lower back issues here. Three more. Inhale up, exhale down. Two more. Last one, up. And release it down. Good. Release it. Lift yourself up onto hands and knees. Okay. Four point kneeling. Can in one hand. You're going to lift up laterally. Just down and up. Okay. To the side. So that's all it is. Just there. Staying steady. Any single loaded one side at work, you've really got to keep that sense of control and balance. No twists, no rotations. Okay, ribs are connected. Five, four, three, two, one. Place the can down, thread the needle under the other wrist as you twist the opposite side now. Lift and twist again. And 
and lift. Your fingertips roll that can away and back. So you get that spine rotation. Flat back, twist, exhale, inhale back. Exhale, twist and back. Four more. See how far you can go. Three. Rinsing out that spine. Two. Last one. Twist. Go for it. Drop the head and shoulder down. And slowly lift yourself up. Right. Go to the other side. Flat back. Neutral. Shoulders over wrists. Long lateral arm lifts up to the side. Notice the elbow of the hand on the mat. It's not locked. Find your bicep activation. Good. No upper trap tension. Long neck lifting that arm. Can you press equal weight through your knees? Noticing that the ribs and spine is not twisting and rotating. And then guide that shoulder blade towards the spine as you lift your arm. Five more. One more. Place the can down. Thread the needle. Twist and bring it back up. Exhale. Twist. Rotate and lift. Flat back and lengthen. Twist. Exhale. Center. See if you go further. Three more. Two. And one. Hold it. Drop the head and shoulder. Twisting spine. And gently release. Bring it up. Good. Well done. Grabbing both your hands. Take a step forward. One foot forward. You're going to go hips forward. Hips back, hamstring stretch. Hips forward, and you're going to pick your hands up with you to adjust if need be. Flex, foot stretch, hamstring. Hips forward, inhale, flat back, lift your chest. Exhale, hinge back. You can round the spine, those two knees, stretching your leg, flexing your foot. Okay, let's move through the hip. You can do your own pace here. Just find the long stretch line. Inhale, hip. Exhale, hamstring. Three more. Nice and slow. Good. And we're going to change legs. Step that foot up. Hips and pelvis forward. Open it up. Breathe in. Chest lift here. Makes a difference. Exhale. Hinge back. Extend that knee. Bend forward. Lift. Stretch. And flex. Long lines. The front of that hip. And the back of that knee. Two more. And last one. Good. Bring that leg back. Hands to the mat. Lift up those legs. Walk your feet to your hands. Grab your weights. Release head, neck, and shoulders. And then exhale, roll your spine up. Let's do two roll downs and finish it off. Inhale, lift your arms, circle, nice and tall. Nod your chin, soften and roll down gently. Let it go, leave your hips behind. Deep breath in. Navel to spine, exhale, roll it up slowly. One more, inhale, wide and full, lift up. Nod your chin, exhale, roll down. Hang it there, deep breath. And exhale, roll it back up. All the way to the top. Woohoo! Well done, everybody. Thank you so much. Hope you joined your CAN workout. And 
Hope to see you on the next one.